Hi, Heart Room friends. Nice to see you. Guess what? I have a surprise for you today. We actually have a mystery reader joining us today because I think we should be a mystery reader even though we're sheltering in place. So I have some clues for you about our mystery reader. Here, let me just mystery reader. Clue number one. This person loves to climb trees. Can you think about who might love to climb trees that we know? Okay, here we go. Clue number two. This person is related to Teacher Michelle. It means they're in Teacher Michelle's family. Can you think about who I'm related to that you know? Okay, last clue. Clue number three, this person is a fifth grader. Did you get it? If you guess Zoe, you're right. Yay, let's welcome Zoe. Zoe's gonna be our mystery reader today. Hi. Hi everyone, this is Zoe. And this, and today we're going to read the part about the great fan. Here we go. We've absolutely got to stop them, Sophie cried. Put me back in your pocket, quick, and we'll chase after them and warn everyone in England they're coming. We don't kiss and impossible, said the BFG. They is going two times as fast as me and they is finishing their guzzle before we is halfway. But can't but we can't just sit here doing nothing, Sophie cried. How many girls and boys are they going to eat tonight? Many, the BFG said. The flesh lump eating giant alone has the most swackling whoopsie appetite. Will, will he snatch them out of their beds while they're sleeping like peas out of a poodle, said the, the BFG said. I can't bear to think of it, Sophie cried. Then don't, said the BFG. For years and years, I is sitting here on this very rock every night after, after night when they is galloping away. And I is feeling so sad for all the little human beings they is going to gobble up. But I has has had to get used to it. There is nothing I can do. If I was wasn't titchy little runty giant who was twenty four feet high, then I would be stopping them. But that is absolutely out of the window. Do you always know where they are going? Sophie asked. Always, the BFG said. Every night they is yelling at me as they boodling pass. The other night, day they was yelling, We is off to Mr. Mississippi and Miss Surrey to guzzle them both. Guzzling Sophie, I hate them. He and the big friendly giant sat quietly side by side on the blue rock and gathering dust. Sophie had never felt so helpless in her life. After a while, she stood up and cried out, I can't stand it. Just think of those poor girls and boys who are going to be eaten alive in a few hours' time. We can't just sit here do and do nothing. We've got to go after those brutes. No, the BFG said. We must, Sophie cried. Why won't you go, the BFG sighed and shook his head firmly. I has told you five or six times, he said, and the third will be the last. I is never showing myself to human beings. Why ever not? If I do, they will be putting me in the zoo with all the... Jiggy rafts and caterpillars. Nonsense, said Sophie. And they will be sending you straight back to Norfolk. The BFG went on. 
Grown-up human beings is not famous for their kindness. They is all squirrelers and grink slugglers. That simply isn't true, Sophie cried angrily. Some of them are very kind indeed. Who? The BFG said. Name one. The Queen of England, Sophie said. You can't call her Squigglewopper and Grink Sledger. Well, the BFG said. You can't call her a Squeep Pip or a Nut Muncher either, Sophie said, getting angrier and angrier. Look at the BFG thinking, and there's Sophie talking to him. The flesh lamp eater is longing dearly to guzzle her up, the BFG said, smiling, and a little now. Who, the queen? Sophie cried it aghast. Yes, the BFG answered. Flesh lamp eater says he is never eating a queen, and he thinks perhaps she has an especially scumdillyumptious flavor. How dare he, Sophie cried. But Flesh Lamp Eater says there is too many soldiers around her palace and his docent tribe. He'd better not, Sophie said. He is also saying he would like very much to guzzle one of the soldiers in his pretty red suit, but he is worried about those big black furry hats that they is wearing. He thinks they might be sticking in his throat. I hope he chokes, Sophie said. Flush Lump Eater is a very careful giant, BFG said. Sophie was silent for a few moments. Then suddenly, with a voice filled with excitement, she cried out, I've got it, by golly, I think I've got it. Got what? asked the BFG. The answer, cried Sophie. We'll go to the Queen. That's a terrific idea. If I went and told the queen about those thus disgusting man-eating giants, I'm sure she'd do something about it. That's all for today. <laughs>